Sarah Jacobson, Marketing Art Fleet. So today I just wanted to pop into Etsy real quick and talk about some of the things that I do in my shop stats that, that you may want to do in yours. Mine is mostly marketing based. I am, this is for my digital product store. So functionally what I wanna do is I wanna get a good overview of what is going on with my shop and what's happening. So this is for my last 30 days. Generally, I make revenue of between four and five hundred dollars. This isn't my best time of life. Everybody has uh, it's March, so everybody's kind of already bought their planners and um, they're kind of settled in. So I'm glad I'm getting this much. Anyway, so here's total views. It says I'm thirty six hundred thirty six percent year over year from last year, and my visits are up, and my revenue I believe is down. Um, I think I can see it on my uh, phone, but this is good information that, and we can compare to this time last year. I think that's how we can see. So I'm, my revenue is down 26% year over year. My orders are down 6%. And I'll tell you why that is, because I know, because I watch my stats. I am selling way more of a little Poshmark listing sheet at 350 than I am of my planners that are $1,750. So I have to sell a lot more of those $350s than I do the $1,750. Just something to think about as you're doing yours. So now traffic sources. I think this is always so interesting. So my other traffic sources are here, and those are my two websites. Um, Quora, if you don't have a website and you want to get traffic to your shop, you can answer questions about Etsy on Quora. Now, is that going to be super targeted traffic that may be buying? But, you know, it never hurts. And then this is where I've guest posted. This is my other website. So this other category, let's see if we can get it to collapse. Okay, so now the other, another fourth of my traffic, so that's a third of my traffic, comes from me, hardcore, generating, working hard, doing all that. And you may not have that, but you probably have social media. So this one is the one that I love the most. I have a really good post about how to track which um, which uh, Pinterest pins are sending traffic to your shop. So I'll make sure that I have a link to that below this or um, in the post that this is in. Uh, so see, my very best listing is that Poshmark. It's killing it. Um, so it's the most visited listings. And then see, my social media all comes from Pinterest, not because um, Facebook is a horrible place or anything like that. I just don't try. I really only um, try to get traffic from Pinterest. Uh, let's see. Facebook is less than 1% of my visits. Oh, look, five, six. Um, and that's because I shared an Etsy SEO. I, I, I just don't do Facebook, so it's not Facebook's fault. Now, yours may look entirely different, right? Um, but I do think it's interesting to see where all these places come from. Direct. Um, now, you may have, have Etsy, so 20% of my searches-ish come from Etsy, and I think this is today. Yeah, this number dropped because today, I mean, it's... 11 o'clock in the morning. So that, that will go up as the day goes. Um, so Etsy sent um, traffic to me. I just don't really count on Etsy doing it. I know I need to help them. And uh, that's okay. I don't mind. Search and promoted listings, 425. Great. That's not what, um, you know, I'm not mad about that. Okay, I'm in the way. So hold on one second. So I think this is fun. Okay, so first off, let's go back here. Um, the search traffic that you're getting, you need to be looking at this. So Poshmark is killing it for me. I almost think, you know, should I make another Poshmark form? Um, you know, because I do have a bunch of real estate planning, real estate marketing, Paperly people is people searching for my shop because I go on podcasts and things like that. Not many people have that. Um, but I do have an eBay sheet that does really well. Um, Pure Romance Sensi, those are my direct sales sheets. So you can really start to see where people are coming from. And it's great for product development or for figuring out which of your products are doing the best. Let's real quick do this because that's kind of fun. I'm going to go over here to my vintage store. All right. 
and I'm going to shop manager and I'm going to go to shop stats and I'm going to come down here to search terms so this is for my other store so I am killing it with frogs antique flower frogs now how long is this this month so this isn't last 30 days so we would have to switch to last 30 days um, I make more money on my vintage store than I do on my digital store but I also have to do more work I have to um, ship and I have to take returns and I have to do all that where the digital store just kind of runs itself but I am uh, see and glamorously vintage Tara they're searching for me rather than searching for products that's part of what happens because I talk about it. So door stops, I am kill. I have so many door stops, and I do really good with footstools. Um, but what you want to do is you want, I have 38 pages of these. So you can start to figure out what is going on with the products that you're listing, how those are going. And then last but not least, let's real quick, we're going to go back to my digital product store because I spend more time in there and I'm better at talking about it. Um, you want to go back to uh, your listings and then take a peek at this. Which are your most visited listings? Which are your least visited listings? And then there's a school of thought that says that you should delete these ones. Okay, well this one, so first off, they cost 20 cents every three or four months. Three months, four months, I can't remember. Um, so the cost of having them listed is pretty low. Now, there is a conversion rate, meaning that if people have seen this and they haven't bought it, then you could be in trouble because then it would hurt your whole store. But 16 people have have seen it, one favored it, nobody bought it. At this rate, I mean, it's not hurting anything. So it's something you should uh, think about. And then what I love to do is this. And maybe this is the most important thing that I do. And this is where I really started to know what was going on. So these are my favorites. This is, let's do it by visits. So I get the most visits for this Poshmark. And then the real estate printable, direct sales printable, things like that. And then you want to look at your revenue rate, right? So let's see how much uh, the real estate planner is. Even though I have fewer sales, I get more income. So I would want to focus my energies on marketing that rather than spending a whole bunch of time uh you know promoting a product that's 350 um yeah look at this 26 orders i make 91 dollars eight orders i make 139 dollars so functionally if i'm going to be taking my time effort and energy it would behoove me to do that on the real estate planner rather than the poshmark sheet so Hopefully this helps. If you have, I, I use more of the listings. I like to see a lot of the different things, like what are they ranked for? How many visits? You know, how many orders do you get? So the Poshmark does it. Um, I tend to, so one question people ask me a lot are, should I take down the Black Friday uh, sheet because we're not close to Black Friday? And I'm, of two minds about it number one i could take it down and put it up in say october or maybe even september but for me i mean you could lose the seo on it you could lose all kinds of things so i tend to just leave everything up unless it's a loser i have listings in here that i have deactivated because i they didn't sell at all right so inactive so uh, I'm not offering SEO anymore. I don't like to have um, a shop with both physical products and digital products because then I have to do that more. This Ideas Planner page didn't sell any. Like it had $18 of revenue. Um, these Some of these daily planner pages sold nothing. Um, and so to me, that's, that's just not worth keeping. So I guess it's going to be up to you whether you want to... Um, keep your items active or not, but hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.